Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm gonna take a look at another uh, item for the bench today. I've had this uh, for years. Um, this was given to me as a gift from my sister Tracy. Tracy, if you're watching, and she's not, because this would bore her to tears. <laughs> um, she gave me this, goodness, seven or eight years ago, maybe even nine years ago, so I've had this a long time. And it's a luxury item. Um, I've never really used it. I think I'm gonna try, start to try using it, um, or, I'm gonna, you know, give it a shot. It's got some pretty cool features. That's why I kept uh, coming back to it. And I thought we'd take a look at it. So what we have here is the Tamiya work stand with magnifying lens. This has been a catalog item for them for really years. And it's pretty expensive now. I think when she bought this, it was like 75 or 70 bucks. Now they're up around 100 to 100 and a quarter. Um, that's a lot of money for a, an item like this. I understand that. But some people have, you know, limited space. I've got more space now, but I like the way this is designed because everything's right here where you need it. And as of course you know, in Japan, where space is at a premium, this would certainly be a, a pretty cool item. But let's take, uh, you know, a look at some of the features. So it's hard plastic, ABS plastic, actually has handles lo located on either side of the stand. And it's roughly, Oh, two, maybe two and a half inches in height. You'll notice this ridge around the side. This is to catch um, parts that may go flying off or things that may scoot off and, uh, you know, get uh, stuck in the carpet monster or hit the floor. Now, this little area here is actually very interesting. Let me uh, zoom in for you. Raise the camera just a bit. Sorry, sorry for the... Thank you, camera. This is actually a deckling area. So you fill this with water. You have your deckle laying inside the little reservoir with the water. You take a pair of tweezers, you slide the deckle sheet over to here, and then slide the deckle off. And I have used this before, and you know what? It works. It's actually, uh, it's actually pretty useful. So that's built into the unit. Now, let me zoom back out. Another little feature. If I can draw your attention to here in this area. Now this is a, a little staging area. Um, you can put your hobby knife or brushes. It's you know great for holding brushes. You fit that to the side. Um, that's pretty handy. Um, so you have this area built into the stand as well. Now the next thing that I, I like it. Now this is actually an accessory. I purchased this recently. Tamiya was nice enough to make a cutting mat just for this little guy. Fits perfectly into this little note. You notice it doesn't move around at all. So now I've got a cutting mat with the measurement guide all right here where I can use it. Now if you have any of Tamiya's um, paint stands or bought their paint stands, they come with a bunch of these um, little alligator clips which are pretty handy. Right. Let me zoom back out. These things are pretty cool. Use them to hold parts. I use them when I paint. Obviously, you can see because this one has paint on it. The camera doesn't want to focus for some reason. But, you know, it's an alligator clip. So, but there are little slots. There's one, two, three, four, five along each side. These go right in there. To hold parts while they're drying, hold parts for you so you can paint them, you name it. Now, I have since lost it. Uh, it came with the stand. There is a slot right here. Let me angle this up a bit so you can see it. There's a slot here that held this, oh, divider, reflector of sorts that was designed to catch parts that would go flinging off uh, when you cut them off the sprue. And uh, I didn't find it very useful because you couldn't control necessarily which direction they were going to go. Um, but, since I'm already at the back of the stand, um, this lets me go to my next part. So you see these four little pyramid-shaped recesses. These are actually designed to hold, they'll hold anything Tamiya makes, from enamel bottles, the 10 millimeter paint bottles, the 23 milliliter paint bottles, or, check this out, perfectly designed for extra thrin, or, for example, a bottle of their liquid surface primer. Great little feature. Now, that and enough, all, that, all those features, that's really quite a bit. But it gets uh, even more interesting than that. So the next feature we're going to look at 
is this guy. So it comes with a magnifier. I don't remember the power. Uh, it's not that high. I'm going to say it's 1.5 or two, maybe 2x magnification. Uh, but it's a nice, really clear lens. Um, certainly helps when you need to uh, use those, uh, you know, little fiddly parts, those filigree parts. <laughs> um, so it's a gooseneck design. There's one, two, three places you can adjust, and it's much better than the get desk lamp that I have. I mean, these things are rock solid connections, and it's plastic, so it's not that heavy. So gravity doesn't tend to want to pull it down as bad as some of the others. You can also adjust the angle of the lens, as you can see here. Just loosen these, tighten it back up. That's nice. Uh, so there's. As you can see, a lot of adjustment in this thing. You can set it up pretty much however you want. You can even rotate the head from left to right this way. So, you have that accessory that's built into this unit as well. And if that's not enough, let me show you this. Let me fold this up. And I'm gonna draw your attention to this area right here. Now, what we have here is a set of LED lights. It's pretty cool. Now these will actually run on four D cell batteries, uh, or it'll run, there's a DC in on the back, six volt, positive on the outside. And guys, you can buy a DC adapter cheap. I bought one on eBay for like eight or nine bucks with shipping. And uh, it comes with one of those universal ones that has all the little different plug sizes on it. It doesn't throw out a ton of light, um, but it's a little bit of extra light where you need it. Especially, you know, if you were figure painting or trying to assemble a small part or putting on some photo etch, it's going to throw just that little bit of light right where you want it. And uh, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that back down. So, and I uh, once the, by the way, the lifespan, since it's LEDs and LEDs don't burn that much electricity, the lifespan of the batteries was incredible. I had a set of uh, Duracell D batteries that I put in there four or five years ago. Hadn't turned this thing on in probably four or five years. And it like powered right up, uh, worked no problem at all. I was uh, also grateful that they didn't bust open and leak battery acid all, all on the inside of the compartment. But this thing is um, this thing is pretty portable. I'm sorry, I keep moving the camera. This little guy is pretty portable as well. It's not very heavy. Um, I would say it maybe weighs uh, six pounds, so it's roughly three kilos, give or take. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to use it for a while and try it out. But I just think it's a neat little tool. I realize it's a luxury. Um, it's not for everybody. It's expensive. Uh, there are a few of the guys in the community that have these. Um, Louis uh, Matarazzo. Um, Louis, I hope you're doing okay, buddy. I know I've never spoke to you, but uh, I love your car vids. I hope you're doing all right. Louis has got one of these. Uh, I don't know who else has got one. But... Uh, I just wanted to share this, one of those little to me things we've all kind of looked at and wondered about, or maybe you haven't, I don't know, but uh, I just think it's pretty cool, and since I got the darn thing and somebody else gave it to me, I'm going to try it, why not? But uh, thanks for joining me this evening, guys, I appreciate you watching, and everyone have a good night, take care.